Well, I just put my new battery in my camera and I need to go back down and finish that bathroom. But let's look, this is the master bathroom, toilet area. Let's see how this is. I have not touched this yet. And you see, it just doesn't look finished, does it? Here's some paint overspray here. The guys, when they painted, they masked everything off. And your line is only gonna be as good as they masked off. And you see, here the baseboard is down tight to the tile. Here, this tile is just a hair higher than over here, and there's a gap right there. Because see, it looks like they installed they installed the uh, baseboard after the tile. Even though it was a flat floor, you get any little variations. Here's, here's a high bit. The base is tight there, and then there's a gap right in there. See that? And they decided, hey, we're going to do the uh, tile, the uh, travertine type tiles first because they cut them at a 45 degree angle and it would have been tricky for them to cut that piece perfect within an eighth of an inch of the baseboard, let's say on every single tile so that they could grout that when they grout it and have a nice little grout line at the at the bottom had they have installed the baseboard first and pushed the baseboard down well they decided to put the baseboard on top and see even the guys 17 years ago when they installed this they should have caulked this I would have caulked this with the white like I'm doing downstairs so see I'm probably gonna have to come up here and do this if I really want it to look a hundred percent because see if you if you just look at it it just it doesn't look finished does it you know, the, the, the uh, door casing is not cut down perfectly tight to the floor. And there's a gap there. Here they've got paint over spray. Here, here there's not paint. And, and see, that's, that's how you leave a job. You can't leave a job like that. Well, they did. And even the painters who came in here, I mean, there was only so much they could do, right? because it wasn't really their job to do it. I mean, you, we've got baseboard everywhere. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do anything about putting a white caulk line down on this base. This base was put down on top of the floor too, in here, but I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave that. I'm not gonna mess with that. But like in, like, like here, we got another bathroom over here. Let's see what they've done here, see? Let's get you right down there. Would you live with that? I mean, there's a crack there that needs to be caulked. You just have to kind of look and make a determination. Do you want to put, do you need to put caulking or not? This bathroom doesn't look that bad, okay? And uh, I may make a determination. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of caulking on that inside corner or something. But uh, got, we've got here, here we've got that, um, this uh, flooring just like I had down at the other bathroom. And we'll look at this. This is where the laundry area is, of course. And we can look at this. Now see over here, they didn't caulk this at all. They cut the flooring pretty good, but you know, you can still see the lines, right? If you want that to look better, what are you going to do? You put a nice little bead of caulking there. See that? See the gap? You don't have to. You don't have to see gaps. And then, and then here's a gap on the floor. You got that crack. And there, and then you got a crack between the the floor and the bottom of the baseboard. Here they cut it up against. Here underneath the toe kick. This. This tile's cut pretty tight, but this one's got just a slight little gap here. Uh, what happened? It's kind of it kind of got blurry there for a minute. Okay, see see that gap right there? Yeah. You can fix all that stuff with doing just putting some the caulking down there. And so that's what I'm doing. I can even look in the I can even look in the closets. And I can make a determination wherever I want to put that white caulking, I can put that white caulking.
Okay. I mean, look at this. Look at the gap where the door casing is and the floor. But see, if I put caulking there, I would have to put that nice and flat so I don't have too much caulking sticking out. Because if I have caulking sticking out, then that would mean I should, I should caulk this. Now, if I caulk that, and that side doesn't have caulking, then I would have to do that side over there. And so you just have to kind of look through wh what you're going to do. Now see, should they have installed this baseboard first? How, what would you have done? Lots of places they'll do it first, but that would have been a lot more precision cutting to get that just right. And even then, their, their grout lines wouldn't have been nice and straight had they have not cut these tiles exactly perfect within an eighth of an inch all the way around. Because maybe you got it three sixteenths to nothing, a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch, and then your grout line goes on there, then that looks hokey too. Okay, so I mean it's it's something you got to decide, especially if you're building a house. You know, you need to decide ahead of time what to do. My word, there's a lot of floor with uh, baseboards right over travertine, huh? But enough of that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and finish down here. And, and look, there's even a, there's even another bathroom here and, and I, you know, am I going to call this? I don't know if I'm going to. I may have to look at it. Here's even a, a storage room. I mean, how, how much caulking do I really want to do? You know, I'll just have to kind of look at it here. Here you can see where the paint is on the floor here and then there's nothing here. And then there's a little paint on the floor. I could go around and, and scrape some of that off and clean a little bit of it off. But, you know, if I want to do a 100% job, I may have to caulk that. But for some reason, this bathroom in here just seemed to be worse than, than other places. And that's, why, and that's why I'm going around and redoing it. Okay. Making it look all nice and pretty. Nice long straight lines of caulking, nice clean. Did that look way better? And underneath where the toe kick is, see how it looks all nice once you put your, your caulking down there, okay? So think about caulking and knowing that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it. I know, I got carried away. I started going without showing you how I did that nice line there. And see, this trim was cut just a hair short, so I put just a little bit of white right on that edge. And the same thing on this other side. Let's see. So it's all, it's all in the, it's all, it's all in the detail, okay? Here. Yeah. I'm gonna be ready to do this line here. Right to left because I'm right-handed. If you were left-handed, you would probably want to go from left to right. Okay. And just back and forth, back and forth. I'm placing it right exactly where I want it. I don't know if a professional painter saw me do this, would they laugh? I don't know. They might be able to get a nice straight line, but you probably not so much. Same with me, because I'm not, I don't do this every day. I'm glad I don't, too. Lots of things I'm glad I don't do every day, but, but I can do it enough to make it look right. That's why I'm making my videos so that you can see how to do things 
and make it look right, even though the person who's showing you me ah, is not a professional, whatever I'm doing. Hey, I was a contractor. Okay, push it on there. Let's see, I can go this whole thing. Look at that. Hardly any, anything. That almost looks perfect as it is. 